Hey, thanks for joining me on my market report. My name is Mike, and my market report is on mortgage rates. We like to get into what's impacting mortgage rates on a daily basis. So if you're looking to refinance or purchase, you're probably looking at rates and seeing where they're moving. And this could be a good video for you to watch, including uh, my daily videos uh, on, a monthly, on a daily basis here. Uh, we kind of get into what's uh, the impact, whether it could be economic, on the economic calendar, it could be something on the headline news or geopolitical. Sometimes uh, what's reported, even though it's good news, sometimes can be uh, bad news for investors. So the sentiment sometimes changes, and we like to get that information out there to you as well, kind of give you the background of what's um, impacting. And sometimes people can get confused as to uh, this would normally be great for rates, but however, rates aren't doing so well today. What's going on here? We're kind of here to uh, help you guys out and give that information to you guys. Um, a little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with a national lender. Uh, we're here to answer any questions you guys might have, whether it might be about mortgage rates or mortgage programs available or anything in general that we can uh, assist you guys with. Please feel free to reach out. We'd love to earn your business, so please give us a shout. Uh, again, uh, whether you're looking to refinance, uh, we can run the numbers for you and make sure it's the right fit for you guys looking to do what you, for what you're looking to do. Also, same thing with the purchase side. We can write those pre-approval letters and help you finance that next property uh, once you uh, get an offer accepted. So without further ado, we'll just jump right into it today. Uh, being Friday after uh, Veterans Day, we had Veterans Day, which is the markets were closed. Uh, it's going to be kind of relatively on the quieter side. Uh, a lot of traders, of course, uh, are on the stock side will be away or even on the bond side are, are away for a longer weekend. Uh, you know, they'll take off the Thursday and then might as well just take the Friday off as. So today will be relatively light. So on the economic calendar, the only thing we have available right now is the consumer sentiment for the month of November. So October's final number came in at 71.7. Forecast for November was supposed to be a slight uptick to 72.4. However, we had a huge drop uh, down to 66.8 so far. Now, we'll, this is an initial one. We'll probably get a revised one later in the month. Uh, this is a survey that's done by the University of Michigan, but however, people aren't feeling this well, and a lot of that has to do with the higher end prices. Uh, you know, as we saw earlier this week, we, you know, which is why the markets, you know, tanked. Uh, the, the CPI jumped up, inflation spiked, uh, spiked a bit, and uh, obviously that's not good news. Good news. People are just getting kind of fed up with the higher prices overall, whether it's at the gas pumps, whether it's at the grocery stores, or uh, in general, uh, people are not very happy about having to pay higher prices about things. So on the, there's not much else on the headline news going on today to really make much effect. Uh, stocks are up uh, today uh, after been taking a little bit of a beating the last few days as well. Uh, today, uh, the bond market was doing better. It was actually doing pretty well this morning. We are, we stopped lower about the about. Uh, in negative territory, but we did rise. We're up even at like 16 basis points. We're up 16 basis points from when we left off on uh, Wednesday. And Wednesday we closed down 72 basis points. So it was a huge hit uh, to the market. On, so it was almost uh, three quarters of a point we lost uh, on pricing for rates. And that was probably about almost three eighths of, uh, I'd say about almost three eighths of a percent in uh, price changes to the rate uh, of an impact. Now, Earlier lenders came out here, and as such, we've been kind of slowly decreasing, and now we're down about two basis points. So earlier lenders probably came in with a little better price initially, but may come out with a little worse pricing and match closer to what we saw last when, uh, this past Wednesday uh, after we had closed um, on that. So we might see some uh, either unchanged, uh, more lenders on the West Coast, or you may see something more in lines with worse pricing. Uh, today as a result. So depending on how this continues, uh, if this continues the downward trajectory or not. Now here's the uh, how it looks like today. As you see, we were rising upwards. We had a good day. We started lower. We rose upwards. But since then, we've been now uh, right around uh, just after 7, 8 o'clock. Yeah, around 11 to 7 o'clock, we've been steadily dropping lower and lower and lower. Um, so, yeah. So anyways, uh, that's kind of the gist of that. Let's take a look at the treasuries, and we are we did start off a slightly lower. We're even uh, trying to improve a little bit. However, it did it like its counterpart. It did reverse a little bit, and now it's trying to test its 25-day moving average. We're just under 1.58 right now for the uh, morning, and again, uh, we'll see how that plays out. 
for the rest of the day here. So let's take a look at the national average uh, for conforming limits. And uh, again, these do have points built in. So 30 years now at 3.19%, and the 15 year is showing about 2.55% uh, right now. Again, these are national averages for conforming limits. They do have points built into these. Um, so if you get quotes, you sometimes you're you know, one eighth of a point, half a point, zero points, stuff like that, or even lender credits. Uh, these are just kind of helps you uh, to realize what's uh, built into these. All right, folks, uh, if you guys like these videos, please help us out. Smash that like button, and uh, we'd love to see you guys join our uh, and follow us And as we come out with these on a daily basis. Uh, if you guys got questions about anything, again, uh, we're here to answer any questions. We'd be more than happy to assist you in your uh, questions assisting with you any questions you guys might have and again we love to earn your business so please give us a shout you guys have a great rest of your day enjoy your weekend i look forward to see you guys on monday take care bye bye